at a time in history when being a revolutionary extended beyond modern day idealism and combative rhetoric, Ambassador Shimin Chase was one of the fearless and pioneering sisters who walked the talk to any other gallant daughters of Namibia, such as Comrade Lipatin Amadila and the late Buduse Apollos in Dar es Salaam during the early 60s. Those were the times fraught with dangers for those who dared to dream of a free Namibia. But Comrade Nora believed in freedom as emancipation. Jimming Chase died at the age of 77 on Tuesday. Before taking a break from the political scene, the former member of parliament served in various positions, such as Under Secretary for Multilateral Affairs at the then Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Ambassador of Namibia to Germany, just to name a few. She was a vehement debater and always respectful of other people's views. Her impressive curriculum vitae is a reflection not only of her intellectual gifts, but her determined spirit and her will to make a difference in the lives of her countrymen and countrywomen, to continue to shed light on our democracy. Fellow mourners, Comrade Nora was born a fighter until the Lord decided to liberate her from life of struggle. Today, we look back at the life of this extraordinary patriot of the Republic of Namibia. Founding President Sam Nuyama also paid his last respects to the former diplomat. Now that she has completed her journey and fulfilled her task, I urge the current and the future generations of Namibia to emulate her exemplary deeds. I personally recognize her rigidity and pioneering deeds, as well as her political and diplomatic contributions to Namibia before and after independence. For this reason, I think the government of the Republic of Namibia, under the revolutionary leadership of His Excellency Comrade Dr. Haki Gabo, for conferring upon her the honor of a state funeral. The struggle icon is survived by her three children and grandchildren, as well as other family members. We have here amongst us people like Mrs. Jane Kachavivi. Let me say all protocol observed. If we allow the history of Nora Shiming not to be written, it will be the fault of all these people who spoke today. I would advise them to get together with Jane and other people and to really put everything about Nora in printed form for future generations. The late politician's funeral will take place at Farm de Rest in the Comas Hochland area tomorrow.